Coming up next on Good Taste, the big time fisherman turned star chef who lured in his future bride with oysters. She was willing to eat her first oyster, which I think is a sign of true love. Then, meet the guys who risked it all on these noble sensations. I have a dream and I have a vision and you know, I think we can make this work. Then, talk about vision. A dream that transformed this car wash and laundromat into one of the best organic eateries in San Antonio. Good Taste starts right now. Hi everyone, welcome to Good Taste. I hope you're hungry. Let's head to the Bayou City first. People from around the world travel to Houston to get great seafood. And day after day, it's served up at Reef, fresh from the Gulf and crafted and created by the one and only Chef Brian Caswell. Being in the spotlight is nothing new for Chef Brian Caswell. This Houston star chef made a splash on shows like the Food Network's Next Iron Chef, Top Chef, and others in between. Uh, he always does something very unique with the menu, and uh, it's all about the food, which is what I like. Caswell's very popular seafood restaurant, Reef, is often in the spotlight, too, winning rave reviews for its fresh seafood from around the globe. Despite the fame, Caswell still knows his way around a redfish. Or just about any other type of fish, for that matter. I was a fish butcher long before I was a cook. This chef also knows how to reel in a crowd with his fresh take on that fresh seafood. The uh, locally sourced and the freshness of the food, to me, you can't beat it. Reef is a bright and airy space in shades that remind you of the sea a spot that serves more than 60 different species of seafood. All infused with a sophisticated tour of flavors from across the globe. A whole roasted gulf red snapper topped with shallots, candy ginger, and cherry tomatoes, garnished with fresh cilantro and mint, and a lemongrass broth. Or this colorful crudo, made with ocean fresh cobia and Asian pear, glistening in a glaze of spicy chili oil and pecan pesto. Still hungry? How about this eye-popping double-cut pork chop, marinated overnight in a mojo-style brine, then slow-smoked and grilled to perfection. Just a small sample of the incredible cuisine that keeps earning wreath accolades and helped put Houston's culinary scene on the map. What did being named best seafood restaurant in the country by Bon Appetit do for you guys? And that was the first time that I stood up and I was like, well, maybe this is bigger than what I, what I, what I thought. I was just trying to serve guests and have them come back because they had a good time. What keeps them coming back is incredibly well-prepared seafood, no doubt influenced by Caswell's deep connection to the sea. Before I started cooking, I was a fisherman. I've been, you know, I fished from Apalachicola to Brownsville and everywhere in between when I was growing up. I wanted to be a, a a marine biologist when I was a kid. This was, was my first love. He grew up in Houston, fishing with his dad and cooking what he caught, eventually leading him to a culinary career and exotic ports of call. I worked for nine years outside of Houston in Hong Kong, Bangkok, New York, uh, the Bahamas, and then Barcelona, and every place I was was by the sea. Those international flavors are now infused in the cuisine by the chef who's also made bycatch a buzzword. So if somebody's not going to eat snapper, then they'll eat triple tail, they'll eat cobia, they'll eat almaco jack, they'll eat, you know, the, all these different porgies that we have or, or, or drum or whatever. So that's, that's a bite of fish that's not one of these fish that need a break. You can feel his passion for protecting the gulf. If I had to choose between being able to serve something in a restaurant and for my child and myself or my grandchild being able to catch that thing and eat it, I would choose the latter because that's what brought me here. I, without that, this doesn't exist. Yeah, you have a very strong emotional connection no doubt. deep down, don't you? I mean, I love it. I mean, it's, you know, my wife and I, it's our entire life is, is connected to, to the Gulf and, and everything in between here and there and all up and down. The reef is pretty special to us. We actually got engaged here. Wow. <laughs> it's also a special place for Caswell's wife, Jennifer, who found love and her first oysters on the half shell here at Reef. The second date was here at the restaurant where I served her oysters, and I just found out two weeks ago that that was the first time she ever ate oysters. We had a tray full of oysters. I was like, I'm not eating those. That day I didn't want to look like a weenie, so I, I went ahead and I 
wipe the one down. She choked them down and acted like she loved them. I, I hope she did. She what said, we do for love. They still make date night a priority. Jennifer, a photographer and blogger, now manages marketing and social media for the restaurant. She also champions a crusade of her so, own. Um, we are currently raising money for Gulf Coast Charities so that we can help preserve the coast for our children and our children's children and everybody else. A resource well worth protecting, especially when you see that remarkable redfish on the menu. It's a skill he learned on those fishing trips way back when. This fish is oiled and seasoned with a special house blend of spices before going on a super hot grill. We're gonna add a little bit, a couple of slices of lemon like that. He covers it to create convection and seal in moisture. So we're gonna add some of this butter as we go it's going to smoke, so it's kind of a grill, smoke, bake kind of scenario. So it's based with butter and topped with fresh thyme, then plated with a decadent side of fried mac and cheese. It was just fabulous. It's it's really a nice place. It's phenomenal. Yeah, we love it. What's not to love with beautiful food like this? <laughs> Reef is definitely a spot to put on your to-do list. Coming up next, a healthy spot for the whole family. Organic food made with love in a cozy cove. But next, sandwich making buddies that put it all on the line for pulled pork and provolone. Good taste, we'll be right back. Good things come from Cisco.